everyone, Dates here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the first Ambassador Samsung Galaxy Note 8 port for S7 and S7 Edge. So as you can see when we go to settings and about phone then to software information, this is the first port that is on Android 7.1.1 and the latest Samsung Experience version of 8.5 as well as you can see that I'm running it on Moro Kernel version 2.1 and it has the latest uh, first of August Android security patch. So uh, let's just cover quickly the bugs that uh, you should consider before installing uh, this ROM. So uh, while we're still in settings, uh, let's go to display and you can see that by default the resolution is to set to WQHD and uh, please don't uh, put it on Full HD because it will just start, uh, it will just ruin your phone and you have to refresh the whole software. So uh, rather than go to this application which uh, you can download for the, from Play Store and it's called Termux, go ahead and uh, type in SU, it will ask you for Magisk and you can see that it's, will, it was granted super user permission and uh, just write this thing over here on the top, those three steps and you will be set it to a Full HD resolution so that you can have better performance and uh, better battery life out of your device. I've tried it, it is working and right now I'm on WQHD just for the sake of this video. Also the uh, the second thing that you should consider, these are the things over here that are not working, that the touch key white isn't working and that uh, some of the features on the Note 8 camera might not be fully working as well as it has a hotspot issue. But uh, since this is uh, the first beta I think those things will be fixed uh, very fast uh, into the next version. So uh, you can see that I'm uh, using uh, the Pixel Launcher over here, uh, initially it comes with uh, the TouchWiz one, the latest one, but uh, I really like uh, those white wallpapers and the fact that over here I can use the 3D touch like effect, so for example I'll right now hold on Telegram and you can see that I have a uh, quick shortcuts to new conversation to Alexandro and uh, you can see my latest notification over here. So uh, the fix for the uh, Full HD resolution was uh, uh, being created by Trend Phone G. I hope I'm pronouncing this well as you can see over here. So uh, let's uh, uh, shout out him for uh, making this uh, possible. Um, if you want to know how to install this Pixel Launcher as well as the white wallpaper uh, under the background, uh, just uh, be sure to leave a comment and uh, I'll tell you how this is done. Otherwise, this phone is, uh, uh, this ROM basically is uh, working uh, perfectly. You have a couple of new features uh, which are coming uh, with the latest Samsung Experience version 8.5. One of them is uh, the Duo Messenger, uh, so that you can install two separate applications on, uh, for the same social app so that you can use two accounts with um, the same app without having to log off and uh, log in. Otherwise, uh, as I told you, everything is uh, working perfectly. You have a face unlock. So right now I'll demonstrate this. So uh, you can see on the bottom that uh, my phone is locked and right now it's just that swipe screen to unlock because it recognized my face and uh, when I swipe it just uh, straight unlocks. Also due to Android 7.1.1 you can see uh, if I hold on settings you have quick shortcuts to those things. If I hold on maps you have to work in home, YouTube as well. So uh, you can see these things are uh, really nice uh, because of uh, the newest Android version. So uh, if you're uh, uh, wondering what to flash just go ahead and put this ROM over here even though it is uh, in beta 1 it is working perfectly so uh, go ahead and try it it is working so uh, whenever uh, the second beta comes out I'll make sure to make a video about it all the links will be down into the description below if you have any questions put them into the comment section below thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one